Hi guys, this is Todd with Survival Sherpa out here at my shelter again and um, just want to talk a little bit about fire, uh, I mean, uh, ferro rod techniques and basically just getting good sparks where you want good sparks to go and that would be on your tender material. Um, some of the things that, that uh, I've used over the years was the, you know, you've got your ferro rod here and you're going to, you're just going to spray and pray. You hope that it hits it, okay? And that's just a pull, you know, you're just scraping your knife across here and you're trying to get sparks to go where you want them to go. Oftentimes it's going to uh, tear up your tinder bundle and just scatter stuff everywhere. Then there's the prop your, uh, your, your scraper, whatever it is, a knife, and uh, you're going to pull the ferro rod towards you let me adjust my camera a bit so you can see this. So it's to just sit here and you're, you're, you're not, that way, you know, you're pulling towards you and you're not scraping away, hitting your tender material. Um, now, I've used all of those ways, and uh, but I'll tell you, the, the method that I've stuck with over the last couple of years is a uh, method that I've seen um, Joe Mobley do and um, he's over at uh, uh, Feral Woodcraft and I'm telling you man that is the way to go and let me bring you in a little bit and just show you what I've learned from him so basically all we're doing here is we're just going to grip our knife just like that with our thumb across the blade um, just like that and we're going to take the ferro rod up under our spine of our knife and we're going to push with the thumb that we're holding our ferro rod with, we're going to just place it against the thumb that's on our knife. And we've got a good leverage right here. We've got enough that we can get pressure with just a flip of the wrist. You basically got this thumb anchoring the spine of your knife against the ferro rod. And all it does is real controlled and there's really not there's not a lot of wasted motion. You're basically, you're just throwing sparks with just the twist of your wrist. Almost as if I'm carving uh, when I'm using my thumb, when I'm carving a spoon or whatever. Um, I've, got a, I've got a thumb lever here, basically. And so this is the method that I use now, that, uh, and I appreciate it, Joe, for, for teaching me that in your videos. But it's just, you know, there's no wasted motion. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not pulling against it and hoping that it hits my target. And I'm certainly not pushing away and knocking stuff everywhere. Um, it's just a controlled method here of boom. I'm just going right into the tender bundle. Okay, I've got some cedar bark set up down here. And um, if I need to light that, I'm just going to get right down here on it. And just one flick and I've got fire and there's no wasted I'm not slinging slinging stuff everywhere I'm just uh, and I'm not I don't have to prop up and pull I can just sit here and twist with a thumb and I've got fire Joe I really appreciate you uh, <laughs> you you teaching that method and um, it's been one that I've enjoyed and uh, so uh, <laughs> There I am. So I wanted to uh, to say thanks to Joe, and uh, go check out his channel. Excellent channel, and uh, very good woodsman. So uh, guys, thanks again for for all that you do here for us and our channel. Uh, if you do like what you've seen here in any of our videos, we sure would appreciate a like. Hit that thumbs up button, and then uh, subscribe if you'd like, and um, share what you like. And um, until next time, we'll see you in the woods again. Remember to keep doing the stuff of self reliance. Take care, guys.